go when they say. Yeah. Okay, right. Now, there is a very important birthday next week. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, and nice. the person whose important birthday it is next week mm. is um, is an old bloke, been on the TV and the is radio for... <laughs> yes, but thing is, she looks like get... Marilyn, but she can't sing like Marilyn. Oh, she can. But I, and you did it for my 70th, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sang to me. And <laughs> and I thought, just to finish this hour of the show, thank you all for coming in. Um, it would be a nice way to, um, to finish it, really. So I've got about, uh, how many minutes have I got? Le- no, there's no need to go mad. You're going <laughs> to... Um, That's lovely, Jane. Yeah. Did Marilyn ever do that? I think so. Did she? I think a lot so. more. Can you get into yeah. character now? Yes, I can. Okay. It's so good to be on talk TV with Lizzie and um, Paula and Paul and Jesus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Happy birthday. No, no, no. Does that feel nice? Because I think a lot you of people. You feel like you a don't. chamois leather. Mm. Could you sing now before they cut us off? Quite nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I don't think you can take it. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday. To you. Yes! Oh, kisses! You're going to set his buzzer off. <laughs> 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 um, thank you very much indeed, Paula London, much, Lizzie Kathy. Cundy, or Meghan Markle, correspondent extraordinaire. <laughs> And Susie Kennedy, who I think, and I've seen quite a few over the years, is probably the best ever Marilyn Monroe impersonator. Yeah, without a doubt. But yeah, let me tell you, she's also a great stand-up comedian, yes, I if am. you ever get to see her. Uh, but she's very rude as well. <laughs> very, very rude. And the difficulty you have is, which is quite interesting, is even when you take all the makeup off and everything else, you still look like Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Amazing, mind? isn't it? Yeah. Shall I tell you a creepy story quickly? We're going to run out of time. Yeah. I met this guy and I first went to LA and he said, uh, I knew Marilyn, you look exactly like her. And I was really impressed. I got really excited about it. And then because it was a sun, I had a dress and he, he said, oh, wow, you even feel like her. And I was like, oh, I, was like, I felt really good. And then he got up on stage and he was the guy that did her autopsy. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. oh, on that note. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Do you know, of all the things I thought you were going to say, that was not, that was not it. That was, yeah, really? Yeah, it was oh. sick. And did he oh, think she go. committed suicide? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. she, have you watched the documentary on her, though? It was fascinating. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, I think... She, well, she slept with Jack and Robert, didn't she? Mm. Kennedy. Both of them. Were you there? Yes. <laughs> I uh, love that. Right. Were we're you gonna there? Come, they're going to have a little chat together. Okay, and then uh, we're going to come back after the news and we will do an hour of the night. I'll phone in loads of phone. We took 35 calls in an hour last week. I don't think we can take anywhere near that many this week, but who knows, we might try. So whatever you want to talk about, whether it's something we've been talking about or something completely different, please get on the phone now. There's the number on the screen and uh, and call that number if you're listening on the radio driving around tonight. It's 0344 499 1000 and we will talk when we come back in a couple of moments. Uh, but I've got 10 more seconds to... What are you uh, going to do, man? I've what no you idea. Do? When you have to talk for 10 seconds... Yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time, thank you. Oh, no. Oh,